with a couple of confirmed deals, more youth players leaving the club. Potential defensive reinforcements. A former Arsenal midfielder might be joining and the latest on Declan Rice leaving. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the West Ham Transfer Rumours show. Potentially one of the last ones of the season to some extent. Of course, the uh, the deadline day is rocking up very, very soon. It's Sunday. We've got a game tomorrow. Deadline day is all kicking off. It's all close. And so we'll probably be talking about it as it happens. If anything breaks, you'll be damn certain that we'll be putting it on the channel as soon as we can. But after that, squads are done. We just have to deal with it to the rest of the season and hope for the best. But that doesn't mean that there isn't stuff going on right now. There's plenty of news to talk about, plenty of stuff to be going through today. And uh, I'm glad to be here with you all to go uh, to go through it, to talk about it, all, see how we vibe. But let's start with the confirmed deals. Nothing massive. Don't worry your butts too much, okay? There's nothing. Rice hasn't left. All right, we're all right. Uh, Darren Randolph has, though. He's gone to Bournemouth on a permanent transfer. Uh, he's wanted to leave for ages, so that makes sense that he's gone and he's not exactly going to play at all at West Ham. Um, so he's off to Bournemouth. He's gone. That's a permanent deal. That's done. Signed, still delivered. Shirt holding and all that sort of stuff. Another one who's held the shirt is Connor Coventry. He has joined Rotherham on loan until the summer. Um, his contract was originally set to end in this summer. 2023, he was due to leave the club on a free. However, he has signed a new contract, which will keep him here to 2024. He signed an extension um, and has now joined Rotherham until the summer. It kind of makes sense for all parties. Um, he's not going to get game time here under David Moyes at the moment right now, but given the fact that in the summer we're going to have a lot of overhaul in terms of both homegrown players, Declan Rice potentially leaving, you know, Thomas Suchek's position, far from ideal. Um, Flynn Downs exists, I guess, in the squad. Uh, you know, it makes sense that we sort of want to keep him here, and I really hope it goes well for Rotherham, because when I've seen him play, I have liked him. I've not thought he was a world beater. I've never rated him as highly as I did Josh Cullen, for example, when I saw him play. But I've really liked what I saw of Coventry, Coventry especially in preseason. He was one of the few bright spots for me. So the idea of him signing a, an extension and going out on loan, I really hope it works out for him. And then next summer, maybe we can revisit him as an idea of being in the squad because we're probably going to need the numbers. We're probably going to need the homegrown quota. We'll see what happens. There's nothing more that can be said. I think this works out for all parties at this point. Um, I really, really hope it goes well for Connor Coventry at Rotherham. Other youth players leaving? Because it wasn't just that one. That wasn't what I was teasing. Uh, it's, it's, you won't be shocked when I say the words Harris Ashby in Newcastle, but it's coming up again. Uh, this time, thankfully, uh, accurately, I would say, via friend of the channel, Dar Mesh over at Sky sports you know he's been on the channel several times you know if you've watched these videos before there are, there are some people we rate incredibly highly in terms of west ham news in terms of accuracy reliability darmesh is one of those guys and he has been speaking about ashby on twitter quote the west ham the west ham united sorry <laughs> scratch that quote west ham united have rejected a bid from newcastle united for right back harrison ashby bid went in earlier in the window negotiations ongoing West Ham open to sell Ashby out of contract in the summer. This has also been added on to by Luke Edwards, who's a journalist for The Telegraph, who tweeted that Ashby was, quote, still a possibility for Newcastle. How do you feel about this? Because uh, I understand wanting to keep him, and I have been impressed when I've seen him play, as I think most people have been. I also am not silly enough to know that he probably is quite desperate to leave because let's be real, he's never going to get game time under David Moyes. Right back is A, he doesn't really do youth players anyway, but also B, right back is one of our more stacked positions at the moment. You know, you've got Sufau, you've got Johnson, you've got uh, Tilo Kerr, although dear God, please not Tilo Kerr, but you have people who can play in that position. And so he's just not going to get any game time. And for his sake, I kind of want us to just sell him at this point. I guess we'll get literally some money where we wouldn't get any in the summer. You get to be, you get to just let someone loose. You know, sometimes it's better to have loved and lost than to not have loved at all. I don't know. I just feel like for me at this point, just let him go. I don't want to hold him for another six months. Although maybe we should try and keep him and try and convince him to stay. I don't know. How do you feel? Let me know in the comment section below because with Ashby, it's just one of those difficult, awkward situations where there's lots of options and I don't know if any of them are correct. 
Speaking of lots of options, and I don't know if any of them are correct, centre-backs at West Ham United. What are times via live? Darmesh has also been talking to Give Me Sport recently uh, about Kurt Zuma specifically and our centre-backs. Now, in Kurt Zuma, in regards to that and his injury, uh, the knock that he picked up recently in one of the games, quote, we're told that Kurt Zuma has got an injury, but it's not serious. He will miss a few games. I'm not sure whether that length of time would be enough to force West Ham to go into the market for a central defender. Now, they did a separate article again speaking to Darmesh. Uh, this is Give Me Sport. Asking him about the centre-back situation and in general at West Ham and whether they would be interested in signing someone in the window, which is something I think we would all expect, especially after Craig Dawson left. Um, but Darmesh, not sure. He says, quote, I think West Ham are comfortable just now with the options that they have in central defence. If any of the injuries that they do get within the next six days or so are worse than fierce feared, then I think they'll go into the market, but have no plans to do so. As far as I'm told at the moment, um, like I said, I think we would all expect that and like the rumours of Michael Keane and all this other sort of stuff kicking around in the background, especially once Dawson seemed to be on his way out. I was under the assumption that we would probably go and sign a centre-back on loan. That made most sense to me, although Darmish isn't sure. Sean Whetstone, uh, who is currently writing for six foot two, formerly of Claret U, all of that good stuff, he has said, quote, West Ham have a number of active bids for both a striker and a centre-back. Um, six foot two on stands. So clearly he's saying, uh, Sean, who is connected to the club, is saying, you know, we have something in for a centre-back. Um, and striker, and the striker was interesting to me because I just think we can just write that off as not going to happen now. After we signed Ings, it came incredibly unlikely to me that we were going to sign anyone. Some of the big names that we've been linked to recently have all sort of seemingly confirmed their futures. I mean, Terra Moffi seems to be uh, on his way to Nice. He's been incredibly clear that he wants to stay in France. We've been chasing him for the entire window, it feels like, but that seems to be a done deal with Nice at the moment. Um, another friend of the channel, somebody who's been on the channel, Fabrizio Romano, has said that uh, Ben Brereton Diaz, the Chilean sensation, um, has signed a pre-contract agreement with Villarreal over in Spain. So he'll be joining them in the summer on a free after his contract at Blackburn runs out, because that's obviously something you can do with foreigner clubs. If your contract's got less than six months, you can go and sign for them on a pre-contract if you want. And he seems to have done that and him joining someone in Spain. That kind of feels right for Ben Brereton Diaz. Um, the, Chilean, the Chilean sensation. But in terms of that centre-back he's talking about, could it be Formos Mendy? At least that's how I'm going to choose to pronounce his name. I'm not going to lie, I've never heard of him. Never really seen him play, I should say. He's, he plays for Amiens in the Ligue 2, second French division, um, if you didn't enjoy my beautiful French uh, accounting ability there. Um, Ligue 2. Um, he also plays for Senegal. Uh, the national team for Senegal, a uh, 22-year-old centre-back, can also play right-back again. Good luck, Harrison. Has to be, um, and this is another one of those quotes that is being directly translated from a website called WIW Sport, which I've never heard of, and it's in French. So this is going to sound a lot more definitive than I think the situation may be, if it's even true at all. But I felt like given the centre-back situation, it sort of plays into everything and was worth mentioning. Um, and then we move on. And that is, quote, an agreement between the players' entourage and the Hammers has already been reached. Mistrust all the same for West Ham. Southampton has not said its last words and is negotiating directly with Amiens. Nevertheless, foremost Mendy prefers to join the residents of the London Stadium. Again, seems very final there, like it's about to happen. I don't think that's true at all. And if Darmesh is to be believed, which I 100% believe Darmesh in everything he says, in life, in general, I would trust that man with my life. So drink that, Barmesh, if you hear that. You know what I mean? You, My life is in your hands. Um, then it's potentially not a thing at all. But, you know, it makes sense as a player, the profile. We love buying French players. We get linked to, well, we get linked to all the French players. We get told we love buying French players and then we end up buying no French players. So, well, that's a lie. We bought a Gerd from France, so maybe that's a lie. Yeah, maybe I'm chatting nonsense. I don't know. The point is, is the profile made sense for me? You talk about centre backs. I felt like it was worth a mention. Um, speaking of worth a mention, David Moyes' press comments in the press conference. Um, now, I don't listen to it ever. 
Um, I don't trust what Pad says, never have. I always think he, he's chatting completely out of his backside. So you'll have to uh, forgive me with this because the quotes are coming from Hammers News, who are the ones who collated this and wrote it down. So thank you very much to them. Uh, much appreciated. Um, but he has been talking about uh, the transfer window specifically, and I felt I should mention those in this context. And that is, quote, we brought in the players we wanted in the summer, then brought in Danny Ings a week ago. I'm not saying we won't do any other business or if nobody will leave before the deadline. Nothing is in the pipeline at the moment, but there are four or five days to go before the deadline. I don't see us spending more money, but this would change. This world changes quickly. The, the not spending money bit is sort of interesting because I would have said we would probably gone for loans anyway. So that kind of lines up with that. Him saying nothing is in the pipeline. Again, I'm not entirely shocked, but that suggests there's nothing going on at all anywhere, which I strongly disbelieve. There has to be stuff going on somewhere. You can't tell me clubs at all times during the window aren't trying to do something. Uh, that suggests that no one at West Ham is looking at any deals whatsoever. That doesn't sound right. Um... And like I said, I don't trust anything he says, but worth mentioning, right? Now, former Arsenal midfielder, um, this is according to Le Keep. Um, we are interested in Matteo Genduzzi. Genduzzi? Genduzzi? How do you want to pronounce it? Uh, quote, West Ham have joined Aston Villa in the race to sign Marseille midfielder Matteo Genduzzi. Um, you might remember him. He came over to Arsenal. Speaking of speaking of people who came from Ligue 2, he came in from Ligue 2. Uh, when he was very young, he was like 18, 19 when he joined Arsenal, spent a couple of years there in the first team. Flashes of absolute brilliance. I mean, when you watched him play, he was very, very raw and was a walking yellow card a little bit. But sometimes he would just pull something out and you go, flipping heck, he's good, isn't he? But it never quite clicked fully. And I think he just sort of was, he wasn't mature enough. It didn't end up working out for him. He ended up going on loan, I think, to... It was Germany. It was Hertha Berlin, I think it was. Uh, then ended up going out on loan to Marseille. Uh, joined Marseille permanently. And now, potentially, could be on his way back to the Premier League via Aston Villa or us. Um, Foot Mercato, uh, the website, is saying that Marseille are looking for €30 million, Euros, aka £26 million pounds for him. Um, no, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen, but I do think it's an interesting one to look at, especially if we're looking at towards um, replacing Rice, which we're about to get onto, looking at maybe a replacement for Suchek, those kind of things. He kind of fits what David Moyes would like. Big, strong, combative midfielder. Again, if you only have looked at him before, uh, when he was playing for Arsenal, he has stepped up significant amount of levels. He's now way more mature, way better than he was. And I think... I think someone could get, if someone could get the best out of Genduzzi, and I'm not saying that in a, or if someone could get the best out of Morrison way, Genduzzi is a really good player now, but the potential there to go up leaps and bounds, he could be absolutely brilliant. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen. But it's worth mentioning anyway. But that's mainly because let's talk about Rice, okay? He's, I, I suspect we've all seen this news now. It, it happened. We haven't spoke about it on the channel, so I felt like I should mention it. That's why I've left it till the end. I'm not going to spend too long on it, but I am interested in your opinions. Um, he's being linked very strongly with Arsenal right now. Um, Jacob Steinberg at The Guardian started it off, uh, and he has said that Rice prefers Arsenal uh, in the summer um, due to basically being able to work with Arteta, who has, quote, drawn up plans for where the West Ham captain would fit into his team. Uh, he went on to say that Arsenal have made Rice their top transfer target and, I quote, increasingly confident uh, that they'll beat Chelsea to the signing. Steinberg, uh, Jacob Steinberg at The Guardian, again, one of those top tier people, in our opinion, for West Ham uh, in the know type stuff. We, we rate him very, very highly. Um, someone we don't raise super highly is talk sport. And this is the thing that has been going around the most. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't believe this at all. And I think when you dig into it, it gets even less believable. But I felt I should mention it because this is the West Ham Transfer Rumour Show and this is a transfer rumour. But talk sport uh, put something else basically saying that Rice had given his word that he will join. Ar He's given his word to Arsenal that he will join them. Um, I think in the context, they were saying that Real Madrid have now given up on the race for Rice because he's given the word to Arsenal, right? Now, this all seems a bit insane. And again, it's not like you sat down with Mikel Arteta over a Burger King, over a double quarter pounder uh, chips and gone, yeah, mate, coming in summer, it's happening. 
because obviously these things don't happen. Not like tapping a person and agents can't speak and all that other sort of stuff. But realistically, that's just not happened. Um, and if you dig a bit deeper into it, they are quoting Spanish paper or website El Nacional. Is how I'm going to awfully pronounce that. El, El Nacional? El Nacional. That sounded a bit better, didn't it? Ooh, we'll try to get a bit sauce on that one. Uh, and again, this is directly translated from Spanish to English. So take that for what it is. But quote, Race has already decided where his next challenge will be and what his next club will be, and he won't be leaving his hometown, having given his word to Arsenal to become one of the first galactic reinforcements to land the Gunners in the summer. The agreement with the footballer is completely closed, and he will reject Madrid, Manchester United, Manchester City, Liverpool, and the rest of the teams that had his name written down in the agenda. Like I said, it feels very final when you translate these things directly. Um, and obviously there's a lot more nuance in the language that I can't, because I, I can't say anything in Spanish. Agua is water. I went to Barcelona on holiday once when I was a kid and I bought some agua in a shop. That was very exciting. Um, outside of that, lost, lost. Um, and so, you know, there's obviously nuance to these things and it sounds very final when it's not. But it's does all add up that obviously rice could be leaving we will we will assume that rice will be leaving in the summer um and arsenal makes sense potential premier league champions uh it feels like a time to join them although will he start for them and i think that's probably something he should be looking at these are my final words i think he has to think about this quite deeply and i think calvin phillips is a brilliant example of why calvin phillips is probably having a great time playing for one of the best teams that the premier league has ever seen playing for arguably the best manager in the world right now. I'm sure he's loving life, but the boy is not starting and he's never going to start while Rodri exists at a team. It's just not going to happen. He will never become a regular star at Manchester City. And is that going to damage his future career? Potentially. And I think with Rice, he needs to think about this a bit because as much as the allure of joining Arsenal, you get to stay in London and potential Premier League champions, work under Arteta, who seems to be a very exciting manager, all of these things in there that sound great and exciting. Sure, I get that. 100%. 100% I get that. But are you going to start over Thomas Partey? If Arteta is drawing up plans like that, then maybe that is enough to sway someone and maybe that makes more sense. But to me, I don't see how he fits in and it would cause concern for me. Anyway, Enough of that nonsense. Enough of that. That is the transfer rumours that are happening at the moment. Have we missed any? Let us know in the comment section below and let us know how you feel about everything. Like I said, it will be a, a couple of more days left until this is all over. We will be live on deadline day for the transfer uh, deadline day live show, the traditional Hammers Chat uh, deadline day live show. And if you've made it this far, I'll tell you this. I'll give you a little, I'll give you a little scoop. Right, this is my scoop to you. Um, Geo, earlier on today, um, I say earlier on today, yesterday, sent me... Um, the list, the potential schedule of the lineup of guests for the uh, transfer deadline day live stream. And I'll tell you what, it's probably our best yet. I'm not going to lie. Um, just the confirmed ones are great, but if he gets the, if the non-confirmed ones come for his, oh, <laughs> you're talking the best, arguably the best lineup we've ever had on a deadline day show, in my opinion. I'm also on it, so it will naturally be dragged down a bit. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow for the West Ham match against Derby, of course. But until then, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Hope you have a good one. And uh, yeah, trust West Ham transfer rumours. They don't stop until like a couple of days time when it slams shot, then they stop. I hope anyway. Bye.